the busiest comedian on the continent. He also happens to be a detective on Mars Singer. Oh, he yeah. is Kumba! Yeah. Yeah, it's Kumba so, here, stand up comedian, radio host. Ah, so disappointed in you guys. Why? Why? There's no band, there's no, no intro. You know, I see what you guys do to your guest. Black Cove was here. There was a trumpeter, trumpeter. You must be still alive. <laughs> Timotash was here, there were horns. Trevor Noah was late. You guys waited the whole hour. Yeah. For Trevor. More flavor, started yeah. his show at 20 to 11. You guys have you guys. Yeah. 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 Y
I promise you, I, will, I promise you, whether it be radio, whether it be stand-up comedy, mm. I will stop on, on the spot. I won't even think twice. Mm. You know, because th there's, there's this notion when, when people, you know, look at entertainers and, you know, they look at, at, at the work ethic behind it and all of that. When people look at you, because you get on stage and you're so effortless in your jokes and you, you it, it almost feels so instant and present that yeah. there's almost a notion that, that none of it was planned. And here you're telling me that you've got a whiteboard in your room and you wake up at three in the morning and you write a joke down. It's 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 the most craziest thing. There's there's moments where I shock myself sometimes. So uh. I ought to do a show, ne? Uh. I'm on stage. And then, then it hits me with the case, Kumba, you've lost your mind, Kanga, now. Oh. Where I just go, oh, little, 10, 12 minutes. I don't know where that comes from. I don't know what hits me, but when I'm in that zone, it's hard for me to get out. Just get inspired in like the moment. Like, I, I, I can create the most craziest joke now mm. and not do it again tomorrow. So are there jokes that you've only done once in your life and you just... Every, okay, everything that I've done with, with Bob on radio uh -huh. was, was never scripted. Everything. Ev everything. You're joking. For over three years, every Friday was never scripted. I've never went on like, okay, this is what I'm going to do okay. today. Okay. So it was one of those. So I took that and then I did it on stage. I, I do plan what I'm going to do on stage, but I, I promise you, it's, it's gonna, I'm going to get to that moment where, like I did a show Silver Star about three weeks ago. There was a lady sitting in front where uh, I'm going to I took the crashes. You took her crashes and I'm like, this is your transport. You're not going anywhere for that. <laughs> now, I, I went on the crashes for a good 10 minutes. And I asked her, what are you drinking? She told me what she was drinking. Bought her head drinks. <laughs> now she wants to go to, to the loo. Or oh, the lavatory. Oh, this is 947. The lavatory. <laughs> Guys are using big words. <laughs> Our toilets here <laughs> flash for themselves, just by the way. Hello. Hey. I, I went in on her and... After the show, I'm like, how and why did I do that? I didn't know. But yeah. she enjoyed it. And yeah, I give her her transport back and she went home. <laughs> and she took her car. Because you are easily the most popular comedian, right? What do you think that is? Uh, uh, do you think that people relate to you easier because you are normal? Because you're very normal presenting. You are. You're very normal. And that's what I love about you. I went to a... I was taking myself out because I'm at this day, I always take myself out. Okay. I saw... Uh, I'll say sis, but it's not a Don't say mom. Mm -hmm. I'll say sis because she'll kill me if I say mom. Mm -hmm. Sis, but it's not said to me, come here, son. Okay. You are one person that I know that in all our hearts, there's a little bit of skumba. Mm. So every time we see you, we, our see, ourselves. Yeah, we see ourselves oh. in you. Whatever you do, do not change who you are uh. and what you do. No matter what, when I just remain as you are. That's and beautiful. we love you. And that was about four or five years ago. Have you ever tried to change who you are? Because you look at who's getting the deals, who's getting the, the magazine covers, yeah. who's getting the shiny floor TV shows. And then you think, oh, maybe I need to do a little bit of more of what they're doing so that I can enter that stream. Has, has it ever occurred to you? I understand that you didn't say, yes, you're going to do it. But have you ever thought of maybe Skumba needs to be, you know, Polish, Polish. Low, low. There we go. Mm. Aye. Aye, why? You know, like, like, this is the truth, no? Mm. This has nothing to do with politics and, 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 and statistics. In every 10 South Africans, mm. seven of them are black, too. Mm. And in the seven, three of them are annihilating, are reaching out, like they are annihilating them. Fancy, yeah. yeah. The four are, are both cool, but mm. so who do I, 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 I want to relate to? to? Do I want to relate to the three, mm. which is Frankie? Mm. Uh, or Karishni Naidu. Or Lizzie Lowry. Or Lizzie Lowry. Glad I represented a whole nation. Oh, let me just focus on Utandega, Masiko, Masiko, Masiko Shem. She's never going to eat pomegranate ever, ever again. Ever, ever again. She lost, <laughs> she lost, pop quiz, she lost 10,000 rand because of pomegranate. And if, if she only follows Umushendik, now we are the genie pomegranate. She's never eating pomegranate ever again. In fact, she's going to spend 1,000 rand. She got 900, man. Yeah. She's going to go buy pomegranate. <laughs> right now, she's spelling pomegranate. She's like, how do I spell pomegranate again? <laughs> yeah, so it's it's one of those things. So I'm, I'm never going to change mm. who I am and what I do know, never. If, and and um, I think a lot of comedians as well, you know, it's like, oh, now we can break it out internationally. You don't care for that. I've never heard you say that you want to go on SNL or you want to go to, what's that uh, festival in Edinburgh? Uh, yeah, the Edinburgh the Comedy Festival. Yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, no, man. 
I, I, I don't think I've conquered South Africa yet. Oh, wow. That's the thing. I have not... Like, there's, there's places I haven't done in, in my comedy life. Like, this weekend, I'm doing Val. I've never been to Val. There's a casino, the Emerald Casino. Yes, yes. Emerald I've casino. never been You've to never it. been there? I'm going there this coming Saturday for the first time in me touring for over 10 years. Okay, and then uh, on the on the 9th of December... 9th of December, I'm doing Carnival City. Oh, big top arena. Big top arena, again. Let's just say again. Okay. Because uh, I do it every year for the past four or five years. Mm -hmm. Besides COVID, yeah, I've been doing it back to back in one of the most electrifying rooms I've ever done. Okay. So 9th December, I'm there. I've got my friends that are coming through. Got some nice surprises, but most of all, I'm going to be on stage doing what I love. Okay, so on the way, uh, we're going to speak more about the story because Kumba says he's scared to do the Sun Bates Arena. Yeah, you're yeah, right. No, no. Yeah, we've got to talk about we, that. We, got, we have to talk him into it because I, I believe he would fill that out immediately. Absolutely. And it would be euphoric. We would be hot behind our ears. And I, I think we should maybe even give him a date. I want to say February. Because <laughs> no, February. Frank, Frank, because hi. New Year. We need this in, into 2024. A resolution. Yes, see. New Year, new me, what? new show. Sun <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 8,000 now. You can do it. He's at uh, Carnival City on the 9th of December, the Big Top Arena. Grab the tickets there. He's at Emperor's Palace on the 23rd of uh, December. Yeah, so if you're sticking around, you're not going away, that's that's the gig you want to go to. That's the gig you want to go to. But right now, he's on Anelia and the Club. Hi, Skumba. Sandy here from Edenvale. Oh, gosh. You're one of the funniest guys I know. This is a message to Skumba. Skumba, we absolutely love you. Like, um, you're taking me back now as you talked about your show you had with Uncle Bob back on Kaya. Ah, Good Fridays with Skumba, right? <laughs> the love thank is you. pouring in, eh? Always, man. And thank you very much for, for the love. It's always humbling to know that people, you know, you change someone's life without you even mm. knowing. Bro. Mm. That's by... Being yourself, and gee, mm. which is great. So then, San Arena. Why? Because um, every comedian that's been there, Kevin Hart says it's the best, you know, venue that yeah. he's done. Trevor Noah says one of the best venues yeah. he's done, and you're our best. So I think our best should go to the best venue. I think I'll, I'll consider it, uh. but for now, let me just focus on Carnival City. <laughs> I, I, I went there to watch Boys to Men. I sat there and I'm like, and I, I, I didn't get the, the nice seats, no. I got here, you know, the. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, yeah. and it was great because I would see everyone. Exactly. So I put myself in in that situation. I'm like, hmm. And Postman was on stage for one hour, 17 minutes. Mm. Dude, I'm on stage for way over that. Yeah, they were lazy. I very, <laughs> very, very, very. They didn't sing, dear mom. Oh. Mama, yeah, mama. <laughs> if you were closer, they would have heard you. But you know now you're in the back. Like, hey. <laughs> never, <laughs> never let a broken heart. Oh, this guy's. <laughs> take your need for love. And I came there for four guys, and then the street. I'm like, oh, where's the other one? <laughs> Hasn't Michael passed away? No, no. Is he's he still alive. alive? Yeah, he's still bottling somewhere. Good girl. <laughs> you know, you know that I'm on He used anyway. to perform sitting on a chair. That's when I knew it was the close, close to the end. Because all of them were dancing. <laughs> It's still early for me to think the way you want me to think. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's all I said. I was like, I, I bought a ticket here. Please, can you stand up? There was a point where he was performing and coughing at the same time. He's like... <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> so what most of you don't know is, is Kumba was busy coughing here. He used to be a cop, right? Yes. Hi, man. I was working at the SAPS, not a cop. What's the difference? You work there. You Are you a station manager here? Wow. No. I mean, no, no. It, it depends on who you ask. <laughs> <in the building. laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I want sirens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends I on who you ask. I forget myself, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you work there. What were you doing at the SAPS? Uh, I was working in, uh, at the HRM office as a senior personnel officer. Oh, and your mom also used to work at the petrol station? still working there. Still there? Yeah. Okay, and she's a real cop. <laughs> she's working there. <laughs> She's the, it's like you don't have to be a police person, <laughs> police officer to be inside the police She's station. She's working there. But she works there. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to play you three clips. And out of all these three clips, you must look out for the, for the, for the officer. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So there, there are two police officers. Uh, and, and then there's one that's not a police officer. Okay. Okay. Okay, so two out of three. We're going to play them back to back to back. Let's go. 
We have already uh, identified certain schools in the vicinity of uh, uh, Amman's Kral Jubilee Mall where this uh, uh, event is going to be. We have got a big curves and then sometimes they complement in a complement you in a way that it's not right. Just knowing that this guy has got your back no matter what. Um, it's, it's unbelievable and it just takes a lot of pressure actually off you. It doesn't put pressure on you. You'd think it would, but it doesn't. It makes you just calm down and comfortable in those, in those big scenarios. Okay, number two and number three. Number two and number three are the cops. Yes, the first one is the event organizer. <laughs> <laughs> He's the guy that checks the speakers and then... Hey, hey, hey! It's a poofa! Okay, uh, so uh, we, let's, let's play them again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> play, play them again, and then remember, whilst you're listening, that's Kumba says it's number two and number three. There are the cops. Okay. We have already uh, identified certain schools in the vicinity of uh, uh, Amman's Kral Jubilee Mall, where this uh, uh, event is going to be. Uh-huh. We have got a big curves, and then sometimes they complement in a complement you in a way that it's not right. Just knowing that this guy has got your back. No matter what. It is a um, team. It's, it's a unbelievable team. and it just takes a lot of pressure actually off you. It doesn't put pressure on you. I you think it would, but yeah. it doesn't. Brigadier. It makes you just calm down and comfortable in those, in those big scenarios. Okay, so yours is two and three. Uh, you are absolutely wrong. <laughs> what? Yeah, you're wrong. You're wrong. Uh, the first one is a cop. The one that you say is an event planner. He's actually a brigadier. A- S-A-P-S. <laughs> <laughs> brigadier. The second one is a traffic officer, Sarah Nakumbe. And then the third one that you said is oh, a brigadier, cop. As a brigadier. Oh, the other side is a captain. Yeah. He's the commissioner, yeah. the station commander. That is uh, Andre Pollard. Springbok. <laughs> oh no, no! <laughs> they cannot warn us the welcome. Yes. yes. <laughs> Wh- why is he speaking like he's wearing uniform here? <laughs> he probably was wearing his Springbok uniform. <laughs> I'm so bad. Ah, Skumbuzo. Mm, Skumbuzo, this is why you're a comedian. I see, and the, not I see the detective work continues. Same yeah. as it does in The Masked Singer. <laughs> <laughs> Just as accurate. Can't wait for season two and season three of The Masked Singer, man. Season one was amazing. And people are saying, oh, you guys don't have enough celebrities to do season two and three. I'm like, you have no idea. First of all, we had one soccer player there. Mm-hmm. How many soccer players do we have? We How many legends? Lucas Khadebe. We haven't had Rebecca Malo. We haven't had Benny McCarthy. We haven't had nothing. So in Devon, how many genres do we have of music? Mm, we haven't, we haven't had one Devon. What? Tira, hey. Mongeni hey. Dema. Hey. 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 Don't worry, guys. So season two and season three of The Mass Singer, 2024. We're going to start with the bang. Can't wait. Skumba, thank you so much for coming through. No, thank you for, for, for having me, man. And yeah. We'll see, see you guys. On... Carnival City, 9th December. There you go. And this weekend, I met met Val. Come through, Emerald Casino is going to be too nice. Cheers! Bye, Skumba! Anele and the club on 947.